Today. Yeah, perfect for a nice stroll through the park, huh? Jupiter, do you... What are you guys doing? Don't you know, Luna? You can't step on the cracks. <laughs> exactly. It's bad luck. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you better hurry, or we won't have time to check out the tunnel today. Uh, 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 uh. Phew, did I make it in time? Can we still go to the tunnel? <laughs> yes, plenty of time. To the tunnel. To, to the, the tunnel! tunnel. Woohoo, the tunnel! It's so pretty, like something out of a book. When I was little, this was one of my favorite places. This tunnel was here when you were a kid? Uh-huh. And when my dad was a kid, too. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Luna, come Luna, here. Come here. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> you did, Jupiter. That was an echo. A <laughs> uh, what? An echo. Sometimes in tunnels and caves, an echo repeats what you say. Watch! Echo! Echo! Needle! Needle! Woohoo! Woohoo! Dad's the best! Dad's the best! Amazing! Amazing! <laughs> but what is an echo? <laughs> I bet there's a pair of someone who's repeating everything we say. No, Jupiter. It's just our voices. You see, sound is kind of like a rubber ball. And it bounces off hard surfaces. Oh, we'd better get going. Sound is like a ball? Then what makes our voices echo? What's happening here? What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. Um. Yum, yum, yum. Um. Yum. yum. Um. I've just got to know what an echo is. Why does our voice echo in some places and not in others? Yeah, I just got to know, too. Hmm, hmm. I know. Maybe if we could find another place that echoes, we could figure out why voices echo and what an echo is. But where are we going to find more echoes? Follow me, boys. Hello. Hello? Hello? Hello! I wish we could just see the sound. Echoes must only work in tunnels. But lots of other places have echoes. I was in a really old building once that echoed. And caves have echoes. Caves? Yes, caves have echoes. Let's make believe we're famous cave explorers and go explore a cave. Yeah. yeah! And maybe we can even see sound. Then we'll definitely figure out how echoes work. We're cave explorers. 
No, we're famous cave explorers. Well then, we'd better get exploring. Lights on. Lights, Lights on. on. Let's see if we can find an echo. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Wow! Uh, what was that? I think that was my voice. We can see our voices. Oh, let me try. Echo! Echo! Now me. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yippee! Yippee! Amazing! Pumpernickel! Pumpernickel! Apple! Apple! It's like our voices are hitting the hard cave wall and bouncing off bouncing them, off just like a rubber ball. That's what Daddy meant. <laughs> oh, of course. I don't get it, Luna. Watch. If I throw this ball here in the cave, it'll hit that wall and bounce back. And that's exactly what our voices are doing. Watch. Echo! Echo! So if the wall is really close, the ball and the sound bends back really quickly. But if the wall is farther away... It'll take longer to bounce back? Let's find out. Here, Jupiter, you can throw the ball this time. Echo! 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 But outside, the sound just keeps going and going. It doesn't bounce back. Like this. No, oh, better not. That's my favorite ball, and it won't come bouncing back. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so Daddy was right. Echoes are kind of like rubber balls. This is the, this best, is the experience best experience ever! ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you mind keeping it down a bit? Luna, was that your echo too? No. I didn't think so. Hello? Is somebody there? Yeah, up here. Oh, hi there, Mr. Bat. Did we wake you? Yeah, who else could sleep with all that ruckus you're making? Sorry, Mr. Bat. We were just having so much fun with our echoes. Yeah, we can see your voices bouncing right off the wall. Ah, you're talking about sound waves. Sound, sound waves? waves? Oh, yes. That's what you call sound. Sound waves. Sound waves and echoes are really important for us bats, since we fly at night. And we use our sound waves and echoes to help us navigate. Really? Sound travels in waves which echo back in caves, bouncing off the Cave walls like a bunch of brown balls bouncing off the cave balls like a bunch of rubber balls, rubber balls, and bats use echoes to know where to go, making sounds as we fly that bounce off things in the sky. Tunnels often have echoes and some. I know, and echoes can be found in other places around. Echoes can be found in other places around. 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 So sound travels in waves, and in places like caves and tunnels, the sound comes bouncing back. And that's what an echo is. Amazing! Come on, Luna, let's go explore some more caves. <laughs> Maybe later. First, we have a show to prepare. Oh, for Mama and Daddy? Exactly. Today, we'll be taking you into a cave for today's show, and you'll need these to see. Okay, lights on. Ta-da! Did you know that the sound travels in waves? And that they're called sound waves. Blah. And when you're in places like tunnels and caves and old empty buildings, the sound waves bounce off walls and come back to you. And that's what an echo is. 
<laughs> Sound travels in waves which echo back in caves. Bouncing off the hard cave walls like a bunch of round balls. Bouncing off the cave walls like a bunch of rubber balls. Rubber balls. Sound travels in waves which echo back in caves. Bouncing off the hard cave walls like a bunch of rubber balls. Tunnels often have echoes, and some buildings I know. And echoes can be found in other places around. Bouncing off the cave walls, like a bunch of rubber balls. Rubber balls. Yeah! Woohoo! Amazing! Fantastic! Isn't that just amazing? Bats use echoes to help find their way at night. That was amazing. But why do bats fly at night? Why don't they sleep at night and fly during the day? Ah, so many questions. <laughs> Questions and adventures never end. How do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn? Where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end.